Hey guys, Barry here from TGS. With an achievement milestone video, we've officially reached 175,000 gamer score, as you guys can see in the top left. Got really close while playing uh, Black Ops Cold War yesterday. Today I decided to hop on Minecraft off stream and unlock one achievement for 20 gamer score, which put me right to 175,000 on the dot. The last achievement video we did was 150,000. Before that, we did do a few other videos, 100,000 on the dot. 111, 111, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so quite a few videos there. My goal is to do 175,000, and then eventually we'll do a big one for 200k. I don't know if I'll review all games and have this huge video, if we'll keep it short and just come off of the previous video. But for this video, we're going to continue on with discussing, you know, the achievements I locked since the 150k video. So if you guys haven't seen it, the first video is extremely long. I go over 100,000 gamer score and how I got there and what I thought of the games I played along the way. For uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 111, 111, same deal. For 111, we just uh, basically went from 100k to 111 discussion. For 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we just went from 111, 111 to that. And then from that, we jumped to 150k. So we're going to be discussing how I got from 150k to 175k. You guys can let me know in the comments if you want the 200k to be a full out breakdown of 200,000 gamer score. Or if you guys just want to hear what I did from 175k to 200k. It will be an absolutely massively long, probably get boring type of video if I do 200k, as we have hundreds of games to talk about at that point. But, uh, you know, I'll think about it, we'll go from there, we're still working our journey there, but uh, with this milestone, we're etching closer to 200k, which uh, is my big goal, my short goal was 175. But uh, I just felt like this was a good number to do a video and try to get on the dot. I'm going to try and get 200,000 on the dot, but once we get there, we'll figure it out. But uh, as you guys can see... Just to show it here as well, 175,000 on the dot. I knew today I'm also playing Cold War Campaign after this in the afternoon. So I knew uh, I was just going to destroy my chances of getting this number if we did. This. So Because we're going to be popping achievements in Cold War, obviously, as we you know work our way through the campaign and so forth today. So I uh, didn't want to ruin it. But the, uh, the achievement video that helped me reach 175k, if you're interested in seeing it, is the Bodyguard achievement that's going to release one day before this video does for 20 gamer score. Where I had to build a uh, iron golem in Minecraft, but let's go ahead and take a look at the list. If I go all the way up top, you can see the uh, competition. No need to show that because we're not discussing who's competing with who. I'm all over the list. I don't even try to have the best gamer score in a given month. It's really about what I'm playing. You're playing Valhalla. You're not going to get as many achievements done as you would if you were just playing Cold War. Obviously, completely different games in length of time, etc. So you get the idea. You know, if I, I was really worried about that, I would just play a bunch of you know 10 minute thousand gamer score games until I got first and be done with it. So, uh, you know, no need to look at that, but real quick, we'll go right down the list, probably all the way to Fallout 76, because I think on the last video, that was our aimed endpoint, and we've played a lot since then. Uh, the other games, like, I'll be keeping an eye out for is uh, Horizon 4, Xbox One, Sims 4, Golf Club, Murdered Soul Suspect. Uh, when we get to those games, we'll know we're close to the end of the discussion. We may overlap a few games, but I'll do my best, uh, you know, make this all aligned. So first things first, Minecraft, you guys know we've had over 200 streams of this. Probably one of the uh, most, you know, the 100% the most streamed game on this channel. And pretty much, uh, I don't have an achievement goal for it. I will be working on achievements in it. I do want to at least reach 1,000, if not more, one step at a time. We have been playing survival. We spent, you know, majority of our time in creative, over 200 streams. A lot of major focus on creative. You can check out our creative world. It's absolutely insane. Tons of major cities, all that cool stuff, but... We've been doing survival lately, and uh, we got a survival village going. You'll see it in the achievement video, or if you tune into our Minecraft live streams. So that's going to be the journey of, uh, you know, basically bringing us towards a thousand gamer score, as it has to be done in survival. There's, like I said, no achievement set goal for Minecraft, just uh, maybe a thousand min. But uh, I will be using Minecraft and games like that to help me reach 200k. I think Minecraft I used at least three or four times now to get my achievement goals done on the dot, as otherwise it would have been more tedious and more risky. Minecraft has simple achievements like, you know, create an iron golem, and, you know, that's all there is to it. So, it was a great game for popping that achievement. We have Black Ops Cold War Series X, so yeah, we're in the next gen for this video. It just came out last week, uh, eight days ago. So, uh, we were playing Cold War, Valhalla, Legion, all right now, next gen. My goal for Cold War is probably 500 to 750 gamer score. If we think we can tackle the Zombies achievements, I'll go for a full thousand, but Zombies is usually what ruins it for me in the Call of Duty achievement hunt. Uh, some of them are just insane. If you guys remember Black Ops 4, the achievements were ridiculous. I'm sure we'll get down there eventually. You'll see my low-ass number for its full playthrough. But some games I just don't achievement hunt based on, you know, preference. Some games I go for it 
Uh, just to throw it out there, you know, I ain't no walkthrough guide. I'm not recording my live streams as walkthroughs for games. I'm playing the first time with you guys watching live. I've had someone get mad about it, like, last week. But uh, it's like, I'm not going to ruin the whole story. Watch it beforehand, then play the game, because it is not meant to be a walkthrough. When I do achievement video, it is specifically an achievement video. When I do a live stream of a game, it's usually just play the game for fun. Let's play kind of ordeal. If you guys get what I mean, just want to throw it out there uh, so you guys understand what we're going for here. But that's the goal for Black Ops Cold War. I definitely really enjoy it. it I don't think uh, it's going to compete with Modern Warfare. You know, Modern Warfare holds my top five spots with the newest one in first. Uh, you know, COD 4, Modern Warfare in second, Modern Warfare 2 in third, Modern Warfare 3 in fourth. And then we actually had COD World War 2 in fifth, I think, for my top five, you know, favorite five CODs. So this game may or may not make the list, but so far so good. You know, thumbs up. Maybe by possibly my most favorite Black Ops uh, version for COD so far. So I'm looking forward to getting more into it, checking out the story and all that good stuff. Next, we have Assassin's Creed Valhalla. This game's absolutely insane. It kind of left the form of uh, Odyssey and Origins. I don't feel like it's the same type of game. It feels like a mix of like For Honor, just more battle-oriented, more Viking battle than Assassin. But it's absolutely awesome. The graphics are amazing. The gameplay is really, you know, pulling me in. And as I get more used to it, I'm really starting to like it more and more and more. So this game may end up being on the top of my Assassin's Creed list. It's going to be really hard to beat those original games like 2, Brotherhood Revelations, Odyssey Origins. There's so many great Assassin's Creed games over the years, and they all have different vibes. They were continuously upgrading the game, changing the game, changing how it felt. So uh, every game almost felt like a different game in some form or another. Something was changed. And this game really, really took the next jump from Odyssey and Origins to the next level. I'm going to be going for a full thousand in this one. Forza Horizon 4, I should have uh, 3450 out of 3450, but they have two achievements that bugged on me, and they're aware of the issue, but they have yet to resolve it, so I'm really just hoping they'll resolve it. I don't feel like replaying four weeks of work to pop these two achievements because they messed up. So other than that, Forza Horizon 4 is an awesome game. I really enjoyed it. I really loved it, possibly as much or more so than Horizon 3. I haven't really decided my view on that. It's definitely a shorter game as you don't have you know 100 championships to do, saving you like 50 hours of time, but overall this game was pretty awesome. I still play it once a month, and hopefully eventually have the 100% mark on this game. I will be back if they add more DLC just to throw it out. Moving on, we have LEGO Harry Potter Collection. To get a full 2,000, especially in co-op, is a risk, because there are risks once you play co-op in this game. There's a lot of people saying the achievements won't unlock. If your co-op partner touches this or does that, we learned that the hard way on our first stream and had to restart the game on my account only with uh, Electrovolt as a guest. Our goal would be to get a full 2,000, but we will settle for less in the event that the game bugs. I'm not going to you know, have a heart attack over it, but we would like to get a full 2,000. We're going to do two full playthroughs of each game, so we'll see how that goes. Grand Theft Auto V, one of the most popular games out in the last five years. Obviously, uh, I don't have an achievement goal for this. We're just happy at 825. I play it for fun. We're doing the heist now. As uh, you know, I never did a full playthrough of all the heist all the way through, including Casino, Doomsday, etc., so we're recording them all for videos. They might, may not be the best videos. They're not meant to be walked through. They're meant to just be heist for fun recordings. Just showing us beat them. But uh, we'll have that coming out. Definitely recommend GTA 5. I do recommend LEGO Harry, uh, Harry Potter Collection if you're into Harry Potter. Pretty much everything we have uh, seen so far I would recommend just to verify. Moving on, we have Hunter Call of the Wild. No achievement goal for this. A lot of achievements. So for this uh, game, we're just playing for fun. It was on Game Pass, but... It's been a fun experience. If they take it off Game Pass, I'll most likely buy it, but we will not achievement hunt this. If we get more gamer score, you know, uh, you know, no, just because we're playing it for fun. If you guys see the little logo there, we're actually going to go bear hunting this weekend on stream if you're interested. But this video probably actually won't come out till after the video comes out. But you'll be able to see our hunter uh, streams. You can look up the map that has the bears on it, and I'm sure our stream will uh, be up with the bear hunt on it. Moving on to Cuisine Royale, no achievement goal. Playing for fun. It's a free game. It was in game preview. 275 gamer score. Uh, we're not doing any achievement hunting in this, but that is that for that one. Moving on to Friday the 13th of the game. Again, no achievement goals for this. I do have, a, I think, one achievement video for this game on how to find the uh, teddy bear, the H2O delirious teddy bear in like the graveyard of the game. It's kind of like an Easter egg, and uh, that's about it. I just, this game kind of was a disaster. It was still fun to play, but they're already going back to taking their servers down and going back to... Uh, you know, player-based servers, from what I understand. So, uh, you know, if someone leaves who's hosting, we're all screwed. Back to those days, you know, more risk of lag. But at least the game's still going to be alive in some form. I'll probably only play it on Friday the 13th as, you know, just uh, I prefer Dead by Daylight, hands down. We have Apex Legends, probably, you know, like my, on the towards the bottom of my, uh, you know, Battle Royale list. 
definitely above Hyperscape and Fortnite, but it's definitely below PUBG and Cuisine, so it's right in there. It's not a bad game. It's not amazing to me. It's one of the games that falls in between the line. It doesn't, you know, fall on the bad side. Like, Fortnite and Hyperscape, for me, you know, go on the bad side. Sorry to any of those fans, but Hyperscape, uh, I felt, was the worst battle royale I ever played, and Fortnite, while it's not as bad as Hyperscape, I just never got into the building aspect. For me, it kind of ruined it. Uh, you know, people just constantly using skyscrapers and all this crazy stuff to uh, avoid getting put down. I like the more authentic experience, so it's all about, you know, what you prefer. So, you know, I'm not trying to talk smack on Fortnite here as much uh, as people would probably want me to do so, because I know I have a lot of fans who hate it, but we're not going to do that as, you know, we're a gaming community, and no matter what you play, appreciate your support, so I uh, don't want to be smacked down games. Unless the game's absolutely horrendous. You know, certain games out there are just horrendous, but this one's not, so uh, that's that. Watch Dogs Legion, I'm going for a full thousand. So far, pretty amazing game. I'm pretty happy with next-gen across the board. Like I said, this is uh, came out before next-gen, but it was upgraded for next-gen, and it was meant to release on next-gen as the upgraded version. So I'm playing it on next-gen. It just made sense. They basically gave me a free upgrade to next-gen from the uh, you know Xbox One version of the game as I got the Collector Edition, was which was not available on Series X. Next, we have Modern Warfare. I have a full 1050 out of 1050. Probably my favorite Call of Duty of all time. It also came along with Warzone, which is uh, you know one of the biggest things right now. I think bigger than Fortnite nowadays, so it is what's up. Uh, they'll be changing Warzone pretty soon, so we'll see what we think of that. There's no achievements for it yet, but they are talking about moving Warzone out of Modern Warfare into its own game, from what I understand. So we might see achievements for Warzone down the road. I'm not going to achievement hunt it. It'll probably be like get 100 wins or something stupid. But, uh, you know, we'll, we'll get, a, you know, some of them, obviously. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 Plus 2, an amazing throwback to 20 years ago. Extremely happy with the quality of the game. Not so much happy with uh, still smashing my head on all the pipes and stuff. You know, that's just how this game goes, though. You know, it's Tony Hawk's Pro Rager. Is also what it's known as. Uh, so This game will make you rage. It's meant to be hard. You know, even the people that make it say it's uh, not easy to learn it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It uh, takes a lot of practice and skill to get this game up. We're not going to go for a full thousand, but maybe 500 or so. Uh, we're just playing it for fun as a throwback to 20 years ago. And I almost actually beat 1 and 2 already. Then we're just going to do the ranked mode for fun. Just to, uh, you know, replay the maps for free, pretty much, uh, in a different mood, as it's included. Moving on to Doom Eternal. It says Battle Mode, but this is Doom Eternal Entirety. I don't know what the hell that's about. They obviously messed up when they uh, did the titling for the game on Xbox, but 1250 out of 1250, we beat the base game, we did the Battle Mode Achieves, and we did the Ancient Gods Part 1 DLC. I definitely recommend the Doom series, starting with 2016 through Doom Eternal. I enjoyed both games. This game is really good. I highly recommend it. I feel like on higher difficulty, it kind of ruins the aspect. This guy's supposed to be a badass demon slayer that they're supposed to be afraid of. If you put it on high difficulty, it's quite the opposite way around. You'll get, like, insta-killed. So, uh, you know, just feel like if you're going to do that, play it on, like, a lower difficulty, like the lower two, maybe. Just play for fun and knock it out. I wouldn't recommend going on Nightmare, but it's completely up to you. And I'm someone who plays games on high difficulty, like Halo 5 Legendary, Andromeda Insanity, COD Realistics. So you get the idea. That's one game that I... uh. Like Rage 2, I decided to flip the table and not go for difficulty. Next, we have Dead by Daylight Special Edition, another Game Pass game I got that I'm 100% going to buy once it goes off Game Pass, which is upgraded for Series X, which I'll be streaming this upcoming weekend. Pretty much every uh, weekend it gets streamed. Maybe once a month we change it off, but you'll see it on the channel pretty regularly. It's not going anywhere, especially since they upgraded for Series X. 420 out of 2840, no achievement goals for this, just playing for fun. My favorite horror game at the time. You know, Outlast is a pretty good game, but it's not co-op. They are releasing an Outlast co-op game, which is going to be probably the scariest game and co-op, so it's going to be absolutely ridiculous. A lot of my fans are kind of afraid of these games, because uh, if you're not in the horror stuff, Outlast is probably worse than the horror film. You know, I, I can laugh at Friday the 13th, Outlast might actually, uh, you know, spook me out sometimes, so it's a pretty hardcore game. So if you're not in the horror, probably stay away from that one. But uh, Dead by Daylight... Not as scary by any means, it's more of just, you know, he shows up and you get scared that he showed up. It's not like uh, Outlast by any means, so this is definitely a more friendly game if you're, you know, not into true, true horror. But uh, you get the idea. We'll see what Outlast does with their multiplayer mode. I'll definitely do it. You know, maybe we'll get a mod or two who's willing to, to take the chance and join me or we'll play with a sub. Who knows, but let's hop down the bandwagon. Battlefield Five. I may or may not have discussed this before. Same as Battlefield 4 and Battlefield 1. Just go over all 3 and 1. 
We got a full thousand battlefield five, a full two thousand battlefield one, and eleven seventy five out of sixteen hundred battlefield four. I'm not gonna get the rest of the achievements for battlefield four. We're happy with it. I may stream the story someday for you guys as I never streamed it. Battlefield five, awesome game. They didn't release any achievements for DLC. But uh, I still stream this once a month. Same with Battlefield 1, full 2000. We may or may not cover this in the previous video as these games came out a while ago and I still play them you know, once a month, like I said, hence why they're pretty far up the list. But two of them are full completion. One of them's not full completion, but I just don't feel like grinding out those achieves. Next we have PUBG 445 out of 1000. I will not be achievement hunting this, but uh, while it's not my favorite battle royale, it's like in the middle of my list. I still play it uh, currently once a month, actually coming up this week again, but... You guys uh, won't see this video for like a few weeks. So sometime in, you know, I think it's like third week of December. You guys can expect it since this video should be out before then. Moving on to Rainbow Six Siege, a full thousand. We probably covered this before. Uh, you know, it was in May. I preferred this game back in the day more than I do now, but I still play it once a month as I still enjoy it. I had a good time the last few times we played it, so I'll stick around. Black Ops 4, not my least favorite COD, but definitely on the bottom half of my list. It's probably the second best Black Ops game to me lately. Black Ops 3 was just, in my view, horrendous just due to uh, the futuristic climbing trees, all this crazy shit that was going on. Just not into that at all, you know, to each their own, but for me it was a no-no, so. Black Ops 4 did a little bit better, but their achievements were hogwash. I only have 195 out of 1825 because it's all zombie achievements, and zombie achievements are a grind. They're a pain in the ass. You gotta have a good team, or you're just wasting your time, so I did not bother to do that. I think we did do some Easter eggs with some people, but we ended up giving up as our team fell apart after an Easter egg or two, and we were just like, nope, that's the end of that story, so that's that. Uh, the only reason it's up this high on the list is because I just finally got the victories in Alcatraz uh, stream ago, so I probably won't play Black Ops 4 ever again, unless a uh, special request at this point. Mafia Definitive Edition just played this recently, 1,000 out of 1,000, one of the newer games, and one of my favorite games of 2020 so far. Absolutely amazing game. I never played this game back in the day with the uh, original horrendous graphics, which I actually might try to stream someday because uh, I would like to see what the original is like. But uh, definitely you know, possibly my favorite game for 2020 so far. It's going to be hard to compete with uh, all these new games coming out like Valhalla and so forth. But up to this point until next gen, anything previous to next gen, this is definitely the best thing that came out 2020. Highly recommend it. One of my, you know, one of my favorite Mafia games. I'll be streaming Mafia 2 Definitive Edition down the road. But uh, for now, we have too many next-gen you know, next games to focus on. Mafia 2 used to be my favorite Mafia. We're going to find out when I replay it what I truly think. Mafia 3 is probably the least favorite on my list, but uh, it's still a decent game. I will not replay that one for Definitive Edition as I finished that game like a year or two before the Definitive Edition came out. So there's no reason to try and look at better graphics. They're, they can only be slightly better, if anything. Uh, not worth the hassle. Gears 5 just got a new operation, 605 out of 1910. I might, you know, eventually get 700, 800 gamer score. That'll come with, uh, you know, DLC packs coming in, just popping achievements for videos, stuff like that for you guys. Otherwise, uh, no achievement goal for that. Honestly, I just put it on the shelf from our once a month list to replace it uh, recently as I just got tired of it. Now that they have a DLC, I'll have to go back for a stream or two, but then it's going to go back on the shelf till the next DLC. Just lost my interest in Gears 5. Last time I was playing it, I was like done with it after like 30 minutes. Just don't want to put myself through that and, uh, you know, generate poor quality content. Here's Halloween, Haunted Halloween 86. I did a video on this for Halloween. I unlocked a 1,000 gamer score in under 20 minutes. The video is on the channel of how to do so, so check it out. Uh, while, you know, I don't probably plan to play a full playthrough of this. It could happen in the future during Halloween, you know, 2021 or something like that if we really want to try. Uh, I know it's not impossible to beat. But it's definitely not something I ever would have played otherwise. I only did it for the achievements. I'll reconsider if we want to reconsider. If not, it's whatever. Roblox has definitely been in our older videos. We have a thousand of a thousand. Played that for fun. No need to go over it. Astroneer, 135 out of 1075. Played this for J Smoke, our mod. I uh, don't plan to go for achievement hunting in it, but we may stream it again for fun. I'm going to hide this because uh, that was Bioshock remastered and uh, we have not even started it yet. No zero gamer score. Why cover it? I just uh, probably installed it, and that's why it's showing up. Next game, Golf With Your Friends, 215 Gamer Score. is free with gold. I will not be achievement hunting this one. Just played it for fun. It's uh, it's an okay game. I feel like the levels start getting a little bit over-complicated. kind of wish they had a more uh, legit mini-golf setup instead of going all whack like these games do. But overall, it was pretty fun, and we'll be back on it eventually. I think uh, it might be on our list for January at this point, possibly, for a uh, sub-stream. 
Moving on, uh, Rainbow Six Vegas 2 probably covered it before. One of my favorite old school Rainbow Six games. Uh, I'm not going to go over it more than that. Highly recommend it otherwise. We will be streaming that again down the road as part of a flex game. Ghost Recon Breakpoint, a full thousand out of a thousand. They didn't do any DLC achievements, so you don't see any of that here, but full completion. While this game I don't think was as good as Wildlands, it was still a decent game. I think it dropped in like the 7 range out of 10 on my list, which doesn't happen often. I usually give games an 8 or a 9 as long as they don't have too many mistakes. This game is called Breakpoint for a reason, as much as I hate to say it. It has a lot of breaking points from, you know, going prone to this and that to, uh, you know, you'll get like spotted by a dude and some dude three miles away knows even though you shot him before he even, you know, called it in. It's just kind of annoying, but uh, overall, I'm going to go back if they do another episode. I think they did all three episodes already, and we did all three on stream, so we might be done with it, but that's that. Minecraft Dungeons, I got 1250 out of 1250. Pretty much uh, for this game, it was free on Game Pass, and then I bought the Season Pass, so I uh, did the DLC and stuff. It's not a bad game. It's like a dungeon crawler. It's definitely fun if you have people to play with. Would I repeat it? No. Would I play it through once? Yeah. So uh, that's my view on that. Jackbox Party Pack 4. This is a fun little game we held open the subs. I'll probably do it again one day, but uh, 450 out of 1,000. I'm not achieving hunting it, but we'll definitely try to pop some achieves because why not? Uh, you know, nine achievements is almost half of everything in the game, so they're pretty high scoring achievements, 100 gamer score, etc. So we can use that to help our uh, score go up as well. Next, we have Red Dead Redemption 2. As much as I enjoyed this game, I gave up on the achievements as, uh, you know, the way I view it, I kind of, I don't know if I should say I screwed myself or the game screwed me, but I missed out on some side missions and some, you know, halfway through this massive story and they wouldn't let me go back and replay them, so I missed out on achievement that I had otherwise like 90% complete. Uh, and then with that, there's a few other achievements that are really difficult and I just kind of gave up on the achievement hunting. We hit our goal of 500, that's that. We do play for fun every once in a while. We're probably going to do one of the bear hunts. As uh, we had a request for that on our Discord lately. To uh, do a bear hunt in this game. So maybe in December. Borderlands 3 uh, was 1935 out of 1935. It was a fun game. They had some issues. Especially uh, with choppiness on you know, anything before the series. Well not the uh, Xbox One X. Anything before that like the S. The original had issues with this. With frame rates. I witnessed it myself on stream too many times. Account kind of ruined the experience in some ways. But... It's still fun to play. If you can play it without the choppiness, it'll be awesome. Highly recommend it. One of the least grindy Borderlands there is. You get a, you can get a you know full thousand in one playthrough. The only reason we don't have a few achieves, they recently released a DLC within the last week, which I have yet to have time to do. So uh, we'll probably do that down the road. Call of Duty World War Two might have discussed it before. Only a thousand twenty five because of zombies, but we hit our goal of at least putting it on the one K list. Highly highly recommend this game. My fifth favorite COD as of right now. And I don't think that'll change, but uh, definitely awesome. Takes me back to the World War II Call of Duties that we used to get back in the day. Hopefully they'll do another one. I really wish they would, or uh, you know something like that. They should. They could even do a World War One COD if they really wanted to. I'm sure they could pull it off, especially looking at Battlefield One. But you know, we'll see what happens. Hopefully they bring this uh, you know era of gaming back at some point. Whether they make a World War Two two or they yeah uh, you know, make something else. I suspect they'll be back in World War II at some point, maybe next gen, from next gen, as uh, you know, they like to leave a nice big gap in between these games for sure. GTA 4 already had 1100 on this, played through it on live stream for a full playthrough. Absolutely amazing game, but uh, not much to cover here as we already had that gamer score long ago in our first video probably. Saints Row the Third Remastered played this over the summer, full 1290 out of 1290, including all DLC. It was definitely a fun playthrough. I definitely recommend playing the remastered version of the game. I would recommend co-op, but I did it solo. We did our original playthrough off stream back in the day in co-op, and I definitely had an amazing time. Uh, definitely, I'd recommend it. Definitely not as good as Mafia Definitive Edition, but definitely worth a playthrough. Here's Hyperscape, my least favorite battle royale, hands down. 175, I will not be achievement hunting this. Let's just avoid talking about it as uh, once you get to the end of the match, the way they pick a winner is complete trash. So moving on to uh, Man Eater, we played this over the summer as well, full thousand. It was a pretty cool game. Never played anything like it before, and uh, you know, I felt like it was like the perfect length for the game. I don't think it needed more areas or anything. I think they should have considered DLCs, but uh, so far nothing on it. Uh, definitely recommend it though. It's definitely a different game and pretty fun. Next we have Jackbox Party Pack Three, four hundred out of a thousand. For this game, we're playing for fun. Just like Jackbox Party Pack 4, I held it open to subs. We played this a lot more than 4 and had a great time. 
I uh, definitely recommend it if you're into this type of stuff. This one was way better than four in my view. But, uh, you know, there's plenty of other ones, like seven or eight of them now, so just take a look around. Next, we have Battlefront 2. 9, 10 out of 10, 45. No achievement hunting left on this. We're just, uh, we play for fun every once in a while. I'd recommend it if you're into Star Wars. Not worth skipping. Next, we have Call of Duty Modern Warfare Mastered, full thousand. Probably covered this in the past on a different video, but probably my favorite, uh, well, second favorite Call of Duty. Initially, my favorite Call of Duty through everything. Uh, I'm just hands down a fan of the Modern Warfare series. I like the, uh, you know, more modern side of it rather than the mix arounds of some of the other games between futuristic and past, stuff like that. So uh, that is that. Division 2, we got 11.35 out of 14.20. Got our 1K list, but we're not going to achieve a hundred anymore. Pretty much done with this game unless they do another expansion. It was fun, but uh, it's grindy as hell like Destiny 2 when you really want to get past the end stage of the game. And I just don't have the time to put into it or uh, the willingness to put into it. It's a better way to put it. Here we have The Crew 2. It's definitely an awesome game. And, uh, let's see, 1,000 out of 1,000. I'm just trying to think if this game was on the previous, because we played this over a year ago. It was a really fun game. I do not recommend it for the driving. Forza Horizon 4 wins hands down. But the map in this game is so phenomenal that you can overlook the rubber banding bullshit that the, uh, you know, AI pull on you when you're racing. The Prius will catch up to your Koenigsegg while you're going 300. It makes no sense, but that's uh, Crew 2 Racing for you from my experience. Next we have DayZ. It was a fun little game, but all servers I joined, everything was looted, so we kept dying and I gave up. But uh, 140, I might try it again someday. For now, it's on, you know, staying on the shelf per se. Bus Simulator, only one achievement. I never truly got the time to really invest into this. While it was fun for a stream, it's kind of like Train Sim World. It will have its limitations, but I 100% want to at least stream it a few more times. You know, five to ten times would be good. And then uh, if we want from there, we can call it quits. Counter-Strike Go played for fun. We discussed this long ago. No achievement goals for this. I used to be big on Counter-Strike in my teen years on 1.6, Condition Zero, Source. And I kind of left a global offensive, and it's kind of trash on Xbox, so let's just move on. Stick to PC for that one. Monopoly Plus, 1,000 out of 1,000. Not too hard to get, especially if you uh, you know, play against easy AI, etc., to get some of the achievements. Fun little game. San Andreas, an absolutely awesome game. I just played this uh, within the last year. 1,000 out of 1,000. Every GTA since 3 has been absolutely awesome. This being one of the best ones, too, for sure. Highly recommended. Uh, yeah, the 1,000 gamer score wasn't that bad at all. Definitely enjoyed my playthrough. Assassin's Creed Odyssey, an amazing Assassin's Creed game. Even better than Origins, in my view. Origins was awesome, but Odyssey, you know, kind of fixed some of the issues and upgraded the game a little bit. It's not like they jumped to Valhalla, but it's pretty good. 1850 out of 1850. Moving on. Let's see, we got Call of Duty Modern Warfare uh, 2 Campaign Remastered. For this one, I got 1,000 out of 1,000. As per that, uh, pretty much for this campaign remastered. It was pretty awesome. I highly recommend it. Uh, I really enjoyed Modern Warfare 2. I kind of wish they added the PvP with it, but it is what it is. I definitely recommend playing the remastered version. We have Arcade Game Series Galaga. I don't know if I didn't butcher that, 270 out of 1,000. Initially, I wanted to achievement hunt this game. I kind of got pushed behind. We might play it again for fun in the future again, but I doubt we'll go for 1,000. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, a full thousand out of a thousand. Definitely recommend this game. It was pretty fun. One playthrough was good enough, though, and uh, we'll see what goes from there. Truck Driver, we have 900 out of 1030. I gave up on the final achievement. They added some achievements for some DLC that they never released. I don't know what the hell's going on with that. We'll eventually go back for that 30 gamer score, but it was a fun game. I would not go for the final achievement, though. I ain't spending 20 hours or longer for one achievement in a game that I spent 20 hours beating everything else. Next, we have Overcooked for 1,000. Me and Electrovolts beat this in co-op. It was a miracle. We did it. We'll probably never play Overcooked again, but uh, we got our 1,000. It was a fun game for co-op, but it definitely pisses you off. Next, we have uh, Rage 2, 1390-1435. It was a fun game. I gave up on the achievements because they added difficulty achievements like a, you know, with the DLC, which made no sense after I beat the original game. I was not going to replay it again. I hate when games do that, so that was a thumbs down. I also think Rage 1 is phenomenally better than Rage 2, so just leave it at that. That game was another 7.0 range uh, game for me. We're pretty close to the end of this list, by the way, just to throw it out there. The video is a little bit longer than planned, but we have We Happy Few at 1540 out of 1540. 100% completion, an amazing game, highly recommend it. Really, really enjoyed this game. It was just a change of pace from what we were playing back then. Hitman 2 is an awesome game, 1835 out of 2600. I will replay the Hitman 1 uh, maps again to get to 2600 but for now 
we're going to leave it at this until I have some free time, but I am going back for 2600 on this. Destiny 2, a fun game. I have 1140 out 1240. I would not go for any more, and I kind of put this game on the shelf. I have no interest in it anymore. I just feel like it's too grindy. They keep adding content. Uh, you know, just time to move on. One leaves. Easy 1K. Kind of a grind. You had to spend a few hours replaying the level like 20 times. It was kind of torture. Kind of a kind of a crappy game, but it wasn't terrible. One, two playthroughs is uh, not too bad, but beyond that, it gets old quick. But for easy for 1K, if you're looking for 1K in a, in a few hours. Train Sim World 765 out 2985. Not achievement hunting it. Played it for fun. We might hop on it in the future again. Epic Mickey 2, the power 2, 110 out of 1,000. We put this game out on the shelf and probably never play it again. Just not my thing. Next, we have Murder Soul Suspect. This is kind of where our list ends, guys. There's not much else to cover here. Because uh, right around, you know, Murder Soul Suspect, Fallout 76, etc. is where our list ends. We have a full thousand of that. It was fun. Me and Lectros played in co-op, even though it was single player. I wouldn't replay it, but first playthrough, you know, sure. NHL 19, not achievement hunting, just played for fun. Golf Club 2019, same deal, just played for fun to check it out. Blacklist was pretty fun, ran in co-op, did an achievement hunt, but definitely want to play the uh, base game someday, I only did the co-op missions. Jurassic Park, the game, I will not achievement hunt, leave it at that as a kind of crappy game. Ben Hur, 10 gamer score, I mean 100 gamer score, 10 out of 10 achievements, easy 1k, crappy game. Crazy Taxi, fun for 200, especially if you played it back in the day, but not easy, but possible. Never winner played for fun. Gonna leave it at that. No achievement hunting there. Black Ops 3, 570, leaving that there. These two games, uh, no achievement goals. Just played them for fun. You know, Black Ops 3, I just played through what I enjoyed and moved on. Same with Sims 4. We uh, did a bunch of stuff and moved on. Xbox One Edition, I think, is where we got the last achievement for the last video. So there's not much really to cover here. Fallout 76 is, like, way down the list. We've played a lot since then, so if you look at Fall 76, I'll be playing this again for fun, but no achievement hunting. Pray we got L full 1195, 11.95. So that is done, but I think we discussed that in the previous video. Same with Typhon Hunter, both awesome games. Really enjoyed Prey. I don't know why people hated on it. Goat Sim's kind of stupid, but fun for a play or two. Gears of War 4 gave up on a while ago after we got 1,000. Fun game, but moved on to Gears 5. Dead All in Definitive Edition, definitely a fun game. Definitely enjoy my playthrough of that. Not for 1,000, but for one playthrough, definitely awesome. Uh, we got a full 3,000 on Horizon 3, so that was pretty awesome. They'll probably do the same with Horizon 4, so I'll have to wait for more achievements. Hitman, I got 1345 out of 1360 because one of the achievements bugged. Definitely recommend that game, but you might as well play it as part of Hitman 2 at this point. Gone Home, easy 1,000, a way out. An easy 1,000, but you had to play it in co-op, and it took you know uh, definitely way more time than any the other 1K games. But I would still recommend it. Let's hide this beta. I don't know why it's showing. But, uh, you know, Left 4 Dead 2, 695, 1500, Dante's Inferno, 1040. Definitely recommend both of these games. Conviction did co-op with Schmag, but I played it back in the day separately as well. So definitely recommend that one. We're going to do a story one day. Riptide was a fun game. We had to replay it for more cheese. Just gave up, though, after one playthrough. Don't think I'm going back. Just, uh, just too much grind in the dead, dead Island at that point. Guts and Glory, full thousand. So that was pretty sweet. Definitely a difficult game, but possible. FIFA 18 played for fun. Rocket League played for fun. No achievement goal. We're going to hide the public test server. Mafia 3 screwed me on two achievements, hence why it's 1930 on 1960. They never patched it, I don't think, so it is what it is. We'll see if they unlock when we go and play uh, the Definitive Edition for one single stream. There's Rage Original, 1250 out 1250. Really, you know, enjoyed that game. We had Saints Row 2 at 795 out 1250. Played that for fun with Schmag. Uh, 795 was a good number to end on. We might get 800 if I go back for one more achievement, but that's that. That pretty much sums up the video, guys. I don't want to keep this going on much longer. There's no need to. Playing a bunch of games, though, just to throw it out there, so be sure to tune in lately. You know, Valhalla, Cold War, Watch on Legion, and all the other games we normally play with it as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching. Like and sub. Hope you enjoyed this uh, achievement breakdown video. A little bit longer than planned, but wanted to make sure it was thorough. Peace out.